Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use what's the vibe and what's the tea. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get into this energy. and say he gonna love you better now divine feminine okay do you want your masculine back are you trusting god knowing that god gonna bring you the whole package of divine soulmate wrapped up in a little red bow okay because mm, what i see right here on the board lord lord jesus jesus okay let me drink something I think this watermelon pineapple is so good. It tastes like a now lady. You know how now ladies and watermelon now ladies be tasting? That's how it tastes. Let me get a little more of that. Mm -hmm. Delicious. We back with a second video. Okay, top of the morning. Top of the morning here to give you guys okay some energy for you guys to know what's going on behind the scenes okay we are using what's the vibe and what's the tea 
Lord God, use me as a vessel to be able to get this message across to the collective on what you want them to be able to know, okay? All I ask you guys to do is to push that like button and subscribe to the channel. It don't take you nothing but a minute to boop, boop. There you go, okay? That's all I'm asking. Y'all know how much I adore you guys. I don't ask you for much, but I'm asking you to please push that like button and subscribe. Because it don't take nothing but a minute to do so. And why would you not want to? Okay? So, let's jump straight into it. <clears throat> Hold on. Do I want some more? I gotta drink that last a little fast. <clears throat> but it got this like aftertaste like a now later. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's jump into it. God said that this is some past news, okay? This is what your masculine did in the past. It's like it's going to move from the past to the to the present and what's going on in the future. But this is what happened in the past, okay? It looked like your masculine ended up ghosting you, ghosting you for some groupie. It looked like he ghosted you for some groupie that was sitting up here stroking his ego, kissing his ass, doing whatever to sit up here and, you know, lock this masculine in. This karmic put on for her city when she got with this masculine. She wanted this masculine so fucking bad that she said and did everything to make this masculine feel comfortable enough to ghost you, okay? I don't know what she was spitting, but this is the Mac of the year right here, okay? This bitch sat up here and mac your masculine up, okay? And he fell for the comments and shit, and his ass decided to sit up here and ghost you, okay? Whoever this karmic is that this masculine ended up dealing with, okay? This bitch was doing all type of motherfucking shit behind your back. She was calling children's services on you. She was being petty and salty even though this masculine was over there, okay? This is what this bitch was doing, okay? The man already ghosted you. He already made his decision. But this dirty ass bitch decided she wanted to call children's services on you try to make you look like a bad mother tried to do everything to assassinate your character and didn't even want you to even have your kids okay this bitch was doing all type of shit in the background you can have kids by your masculine okay but this bitch did a lot everything that that bitch did in the past okay her ass is going through judgment right now okay her name then came up on the roster Okay, and God is sitting up here issuing this karmic fucking karma for the different things that her ass did, okay, in the past, okay, she's answering for that shit, and she real mad, she didn't see it coming, she thought that her ass was above God's laws, and she's realizing, okay, that ain't nobody exempt to karma, it don't matter if you, me, anybody, do any fucked up shit, good, bad, or ugly, that shit is going to come back to you, okay? And I guess she didn't get the memo about the shit, okay? And she feeling some type of way right now that her name has came up, okay? Her and this masculine not sitting up here getting along. All they do is argue. All they do is bicker. Every time you turn around, it's an argument about nothing that's turning into something, okay? And then on top of that, the child is seeing these different things, okay? It and got so bad over there with this karmic and with this masculine that this masculine want to move the fuck out. He don't want to be over there living with her. He done got him some boxes, started packing the little shit that he still got over there. And um, he don't want to be there, okay? And it looked like the reasons that him and this karmic is arguing is because this masculine done found out that this karmic was out here cheating on him, okay? See, you remember that this masculine, he was sitting up here cheating on you, doing you dirty, being a player to you. 
And now the bitch that he end up choosing over you is doing his ass dirtier than his ass did you, okay? He finding all type of shit that this bitch been sitting up here fucking him and others, okay? All up in his fucking face, okay? And she didn't give a damn that they had a child together, okay? If that child ain't the person that he done found out that her ass been cheating with. But a lot of shit is hitting the fucking fan due to what this karmic has been sitting up here doing in the background. Whatever this masculine have found out that this karmic is doing, he pissed off to the point that he want to leave, to the point that he want to move the fuck out, to the point that he don't want to live in the same household with her ass no more, okay? It looked like this masculine don't want to sit up here and fake the funk after finding out that this karmic been out here fucking around on him. This masculine wants to sit up here and move because he done found out and got proof that this karmic been sitting up here sleeping with another, okay? Okay, he can't take it. Okay, pissed off. Okay, somebody done sent him a photo. He got some type of evidence. Okay, that he done seen with his own eyes that this karmic done put him in a third party situation. He could have even went to her social media and seen some shit, but somehow, some way, he got proof of this shit, okay? To the point that this masculine don't want to sit up here and deal with this karmic no more, okay? He don't. He don't want to sit up here and deal with this karmic anymore, and he feels as though he's no longer interested in this karmic. He feels as though this entanglement and what he been doing tied to okay he don't want to be tied to no more okay whoever this karmic is that this masculine been sleeping with she's not happy with this masculine sex okay she lay there on her phone she lay there act like she bored she's very unsatisfied okay with your masculine and you very unsatisfied with her loose wall ass too okay that's why she she can't feel nothing because she loose as a goose down there because she got somebody else beating her back out, okay? And your masculine might not be, you know, well endowed. You know, he might just have a regular size penis, you know what I'm saying? Everybody penis is totally different, just like everybody cooch is different, okay? But whoever this karmic is... This masculine is unsatisfied with her sex, and he's unsatisfied with her sex, okay? And um, they both be out here cheating on each other, and the relationship has became played the fuck out, okay? Especially after this masculine, okay? Got some type of photo proof, okay? That this karmic been sitting up here dealing with another he don't want to live there no more, okay? He don't want to sit up here and fake the funk like he happy no more when he not. This masculine have found out that he is now involved in a third party situation, okay? And he feels some type of way about it, okay? This is why him and the karmic is sitting up here having issues, okay? About everything, okay? And this karmic is upset and she's mad, okay? And she's sitting up here feeling fucking salty that this shit, okay, has came to the light. She real mad. She pissed off, okay, that she can't sit up here and spin the narrative on how she wanted to fucking be, okay? The bullshit and the um, manipulation is over, okay, because this masculine got proof. And also, this masculine is sitting up here receiving karma because he did that shit to you and others, okay? You can't be out here fucking over other people and mistreating other people and think that it ain't going to happen to you. Okay, and as sure as shit stink, this masculine is realizing, okay, that um, what goes around comes the fuck around, okay? And let's not forget, okay, that the karmic is sitting up here mad, okay, at every tarot reader right now, okay? She pissed the fuck off because tarot get knee deep to the fucking truth, okay? 
she big mad at that shit that everything that she has did in the past and up until now is being fucking exposed okay and she feels some type of way okay and everything that is coming out in tarot okay is straight facts okay and she is pissed off your masculine can watch tarot and putting all the pieces together that he don't that he didn't have with tarot but everything okay that's coming out in these tarot readings for what this karmic has did in the past currently and what she plans to do in the future god is exposing this karmic through tarot and she don't like it okay this karmic is sitting up here watching behind the scenes from a fake ass account salty as a motherfucker right now oh she big man pissed off okay and hate to hear the truth on the shit that she has done she she's amazed and she mad at the same time this is why she watched from a fake ass account okay because only god and her knew what she was doing and Tatero got the exposing okay this karmic said she big mad and she pissed off that um that tarot, okay, be digging. She feels as though how does tarot be knowing this shit? She just don't understand it. And then all the shit that comes out about what she was sitting up here doing is so fucking accurate, okay? She is mad about it, okay? That some cards can sit up here and tell the truth and nothing but the truth. See, that's why they don't like tarot readers, okay? That's why they like to say, oh, tarot is evil and shit. The devil is a lie. Because how does tarot be sitting up here, be right on point with shit in our lives, shit within the karmic's life? I mean, it'd be... Tarot is very accurate, okay? When God set up here and exposes the truth through tarot, okay? God knows who to use and who not to use to be able to get the truth across. But one thing I can tell you is that this karmic is mad. Oh, she mad at any tarot reader right now that is exposing the fucking truth of what she has been sitting up here doing. Okay, mm-hmm. And it's all facts and truth. Yeah, she don't like that. And she feeling real salty. And she extra petty, okay, that everything that she sat up here and did in the past is being fucking revealed, okay? She feeling some type of way about it, okay? That everything that she did in the past is somehow becoming truthful okay mm -hmm. and then this grimy ass bitch had the nerve to try to play with your kids okay yeah her ass is under judgment in a real way okay in a real way see your masculine is sitting up here wanting to look you up he want to look you up and you don't want no parts of the bullshit okay he curious about you now that everything is falling apart but you don't trust this masculine okay you feel as though, why now would he want to sit up here and reach out to you, okay? You feel as though something is suspect about the situation, okay? You don't want to be involved with no unnecessary ass shit. And you don't know why your masculine would be curious of you when he went out his way to do everything to prove a point to her, okay? You, you, just don't, you just don't trust him. And you feel as though if he was to reach out to you, you will feel suspect about the whole shit. It will feel very suspicious to you, okay? It'll be hard for you to put on a smile. You don't got time for no fake smiles and bullshit, okay? But see, the tea is coming out, okay? You ain't okay. You don't want to sit up here and accept no flowers. You don't want to sit up here and have no conversation. You don't have anything to sit up here and say because you feel as though... This masculine is fake, okay? I don't know if this is your masculine or a masculine that did these things to you, okay? But all I know is that a masculine that was in your life plans on coming back towards you, okay? Now that things ain't working out with the karmic, okay? And it looks like you're not going to be you're not going to be so trusting about the situation. You're going to feel as though it's fake in some type of way and very suspicious, okay? For real. You don't see your divine masculine as zaddy no more, okay? 
Yeah, it looked like your masculine is coming back. God clarified that, okay? Yeah, your divine masculine, he want to come back, okay? And wants you to call him zaddy again, okay? Now that he moving out and walking away from this entanglement that he ain't happy with, okay? He want to come back and chase you now that he moved on from this karmic, okay? Yeah, want to reach out to you now that he's sitting up here having problems with this karmic okay the karmic and this masculine could be going through social services it could be something going on within their household okay concerning two children okay and one of them is his okay mm -hmm. yes okay but divine feminine you don't want to deal with none of the bullshit because you feel like the whole situation is played out. You don't want to be in no entanglements and you no longer want to sit up here and be around nobody that will put you in any third parties, okay? And everything that your masculine did to you, okay, um, he's going through, okay? Both of them is under judgment right now, okay? And your masculine is feeling it because this karmic did the same thing to him, okay? Divide feminine, you not interested on in one to try again because you don't trust the situation. Okay? And you and you shouldn't trust the situation because it looked like something is coming out, okay, about somebody getting money with your children, okay? It looked like this karmic no, somebody stole your information, somebody got some type of money in your name okay it's something that's about to come out that somebody did in your name some type of way somebody benefited ebt money or some type of financial come up okay that's about to sit up here and come you know come to light okay about um this masculine okay and his financial responsibilities yeah, it's a financial struggles, okay? Yeah, this karmic, she be sitting up here fake flexing, okay? Like she doing big things and everything, okay? But she be going through stuff just like anybody else. But let this karmic tell it. She like to look down on everybody, but she be sitting up here getting benefits and shit too, okay? But have the nerve to be talking about the next person, okay? This karmic could have sat up here and stole your identification, got some type of money in your name, but whatever she did, it looked like it's about to sit up here and come to light, okay, about what this karmic did for finances, facts is sitting up here coming about, people looking more into shit, looked like somebody's sitting up here digging into records and different things to be able to see what was done to be able to get some hidden money that was gotten without your knowledge while you was struggling getting ebt trying to survive it looked like somebody was getting over getting some money that was owed to you this shit is about to come out okay about what has happened okay the government police detectives is you know digging to be able to see something concerning money okay at the time when you were sitting up here struggling okay this masculine, this karmic could have sat up here and got money for your, for, um, got some money from you due to, um, get, calling children's services on you or something. Okay. I don't know. Somebody did something in order to use the kid in some type of way to be able to get finances from you in some type of way it looked like in the past it was a time when you were struggling it looked like it was a time when you were sitting up here struggling in the past okay and you and um you were suffering it looked like this karmic this masculine could have came up on you in some type of way okay this T is about to sit up here and be exposed about what people got and how they used your money to move, used your money to move, 
made a lot of fake ass accounts to lie on you in some type of way to children's services or something like that but this shit is coming out it's a lot of facts is about to be unraveled okay on what this karmic did to be petty this karmic was real petty real salty okay and she did a lot of shit in the background to you okay you can have kids with your masculine okay or or um or he got kids with her and she knew about your kids. I don't know, but something about kids and she did a lot of petty ass shit. And so did this masculine at one time. They did some shit to get some unexpected money using a child in some type of way. Making up fake ass shit. But it looked like the facts is sitting up here coming out, okay? And it's going to be sitting up here coming out within tarot as well, okay? This karmic is very fucking mad. Very fucking pissed the fuck off, okay? Because you study, begin to level up, okay? You begin to level up and you begin to love yourself, okay? Do it all when people counted you out, okay? Thank God that you dodged a bullet, okay, on dealing with your masculine and this karmic. Look like they on drugs, was willing to do anything for money, okay, willing to do anything to move, okay. This masculine wants to reach out to you to sit up here and see if you aware of something that happened within the past, okay. Curious if you know what happened. And they're going through a lot of karma, a lot of bullshit right now, okay? Yeah. A lot of shit that they did in the past is coming out. A lot of shit that this couple did to you in the past is coming out, okay? And this masculine want to reunite with you, realize that he loved you, that he teamed up with some groupy ass bitch to go against you in some type of way, okay? That was always mad to be mad at you, okay? Yeah. Somebody that um, he put you in a third party situation with, okay? Yeah. Mm hmm. A lot of suspect shit that was recorded said look like people are digging more into it. Look like it's proof of a lot of shit that's about to sit up here and get exposed in some type of way. A lot of shit is about to come to light and God gonna put the right people to be able to discover this. Somebody looking into something, okay, about some fake shit that people did to be able to get money it looked like some they realizing that um somebody was petty to be able to get money that wasn't due to them in some type of way okay and this shit is coming out and about past actions is catching up and this karmic is upset and mad about it okay yes this is a time when you were sitting up here struggling divine feminine okay some shit that happened to you in the past yeah this masculine did everything to you and some okay but yet after everything he wants you back okay but you're not interested see you ain't gonna appreciate finding out all this shit that this masculine did and you already know a lot of it okay but just to know the degree of what this masculine did to come up against you why would you go back to somebody that did you dirty like this, okay? For real. Now this masculine's extra press. He want to sit up here and chase you, but you don't want no parts of it. You feel as though your masculine ain't going to be just what the fuck he is, is a fucking player, okay? And for somebody to try to hurt you, go against you, mistreat you like this masculine did, and to sit up here and... um you know take finances that didn't belong you feel some type of way about it okay you do you seeing the signs and synchronicities because god talks to you you're too busy winning to be on the bullshit you unfazed and you minding your business divine feminine you know a lot of shit that you ain't spoke on just yet because god told you to keep working on yourself that you will win at the end okay you unfazed any bullshit and you ain't got two words in chinese to say to nobody you don't 
You're too busy winning with God, but don't ever think that you don't know the truth just because you ain't speaking on it. Because you do, Divine Feminine. You do. These people has went as far as trying to sit up here and fuck with you in your dreams. A lot of scare tactics, all type of shit. People been saying to send you entities you could be having, you know, off the wall dreams right now. It's that crazy bitch and that man. That's fucking with you, trying to see what you up to in your dreams. Protect your dreams. Pray. Ask God to keep your enemies from being able, you know, to in intercept in your dreams, okay? For real. And your masculine, everything that they were sitting up here sending towards you is going back. Your ancestors ain't playing with nobody on that bullshit no more. Okay, it looked like you done called upon your ancestors to step in on your behalf, and they have, okay? They done went to visit this mask and done told him he need to cut the bullshit, okay, and leave you the fuck alone, okay? Trying to interfere in your dreams, okay? Divine Feminine, you a baddie, okay? See, this karmic been sitting up here trying to cyber bully you, talking shit, doing a lot of shit against you, Divine Feminine, spreading all type of rumors, okay? She spread so many rumors that people that, it's so many people that know what's going on with you and this masculine. It's ridiculous how everybody is tuning in to this Divine Feminine and this karmic, okay, chronicles, it don't make no sense because this bitch has went out her way to bully you, to talk shit, to do the most this bitch has done, okay? And she has done all this shit because she's a basic ass bitch, okay, and not fucking chosen. She mad that she not fucking chosen. She pissed off about it. Your light irritates this bitch. Demons, okay? Yes. And it's a group watching you too, yeah. Yeah, she mad. She mad that you chosen. She mad that you unbothered. She's mad. And so is this squad, the this cult, this inner circle family party say squad. They extra trigger too, okay? Because everything that they have been sending out against you ain't sticking either. Because you protect it, okay? If you only knew how many people is counting on your downfall, if you only knew how many people is sending you the evil eye, if you only knew that it's a whole group that got a problem with you and you ain't doing nothing but serving God, okay? And they mad about it, okay? Every spiritual attack that they have sent towards you has been sent back, okay? And this karmic is sitting up here mad about it, okay? God said that you chose it okay you automatically gonna you automatically gonna trigger people due to the light due to your love with christ due to the love that you have for god okay it triggers people and you don't even have to do nothing for it to trigger people it makes no sense that people hate you like they do because you chosen but god said it'll be days like this god had told you just to keep your mouth shut and stay up out the mix okay for real you're going you gonna to be unfazed about what's sitting up here going on, okay? Because God got you protected. You're too busy winning for the bullshit. And you are divine for me. You ain't got to go through that shit. But just know. Just know that this bitch is sitting up here watching you, lurking, spying, and so is this masculine. And then got the nerve to want to look you up after everything that they have done behind the scenes. But see, your masculine don't know that you know what didn't happen. Don't know that you know all the facts on what was going on, okay? So you really, you know... You really don't understand how he wants you back after everything that he did, okay? Everything that he did. And when it gets to the point that somebody trying to physically hurt you, come up against you, or don't want you to win, how can you be with somebody that was okay with you struggling? And, it, and, and it's already one thing to struggle, but to struggle at the hands of somebody else doing magic against you, coming up against you, lying, trying to fuck with your kids, this shit ain't fucking right, okay? And be careful about anybody from the past reaching out. You got every right to be suspicious when God has already given you the signs and synchronicities to beware a motherfucker sitting up here coming back with a fake ass smile, acting like they want to sit up here and apologize to you. Beware.
beware, okay? Beware. People sit up here and see that you are winning, okay? Yes, you've been quiet, minding your business, okay? See, people didn't know, and especially this masculine, he didn't know that you was going to have a glow up. He didn't know that God had his hand on your life, okay? And that God had you hidden right in sight, okay? And that you was going to boss up on everybody that thought that they counted you out, okay? See, that's how God do his own, okay? Be right there, hidden in plain sight, okay? For real. That's why God sit up here and say, y'all don't know who who is what. And that's why God does things like he do. Because if they would have known that you was chosen and what you was destined for, people would have been in your life for the wrong reasons, cheering you on. But see, your glow up and the different things that you have learned on this journey, you got, God going to put the right people around you so that you can stay bossed up, so you can stay protected. God got big things for you, Divine Feminine. You just wait and see. You're going to win right in front of your enemy's eyes, okay, without even trying, okay? You're going to be glad that you sat up here and dodged the bullet. You dodged it. You did. Because your masculine is still doing the same ass shit with this karmic, okay? You get using drugs, getting high, arguing, okay? And and still not moving forward, okay? Mm-hmm. This is why your um, ancestors is telling this masculine to stay the fuck away from you. Your ancestors do not want you with this masculine because he he not he he he'll take you down. He's not good for you. You're not interested on in going back with your masculine after knowing everything that your masculine did to you. You're not okay with that. Okay. Be curious with you for what? You're going to always love your masculine, but you don't trust his ass worth a damn. Let me, let's sit up here and get this karmic tales and see exactly what else we can dig up. And then we're going to close this read. Okay. What else? Yeah, your divine masculine had too much time run right out, and um, he didn't do right. And this is why you're not sitting up here interested, because he took too long to make things right. He acted like he can do without you, and you no longer feel the same way after putting you in a third-party situation. You feel some type of way about your masculine study out here fucking these nasty-ass street cat-ass bitches. You feel as though the situation is played the fuck out. You don't want no player in your life, okay? And you feel as though why be pressed now and chase you? Where was that same energy when it counted? You running far away from the situation and drama as possible, and you moving forward. Y'all hear that ambulance outside? Okay. Y'all said beware. But hey, you gonna hear the tea, okay? Y'all remember a living color be like, you ain't heard it from me because I ain't the one to God. So remember she be in that window, that old lady, okay? All the tea is out, because God going to make sure you know it. Y'all remember Living Color. It says, I don't trust anyone, but I don't want to be alone. Yeah, this masculine, he don't trust this karmic, but he don't want to be alone. So he stays over there, even though he know that he ain't happy with this karmic, okay? He don't want to do the work to wake up. Okay, this might have something to do with an Aries, okay? Or he's an Aries, you an Aries, got something to do with an Aries, okay? Yeah, Divine Feminine, you standing in your power. You stand in your power, okay? Mm-hmm. No love is given and no love is received, okay? It looks like it is a Virgo that's out of control, okay? This bitch is out of control, high as a kite, okay? And um, a lot is going on in this masculine and this karmic's life, okay? She big mad right now, okay? She's within the group as well, okay? She was a spiritual hater sitting in magic and doing shit along with this karmic against you. But all praise is due to God that you stood in power knowing that God had your back. She don't like the fact that she couldn't keep you down. She don't like the fact that she can't stop you as long as God is on your side. They tried to embarrass you, hurt you, do scare tactics. They people like try to do a lot of shit, okay, against you. 
for no reason because you because you in the light okay yeah this could be a tarot reader okay that was helping her she could be a tarot reader okay but yeah this is a tarot reader that's out of control that was sitting up here coming up against you she could be a virgo she could be an aries okay that has been doing this shit gives no love and you don't give her no love okay might don't know this person okay or she mad that this master not giving her no love okay and the relationship feels hopeless this karmic has given a lot of money to this tarot reader to be able to know a lot of shit that's been going on within you and this tarot reader then told this karmic then told her ass the truth finally and told her ass that the relationship with her and the masculine is hopeless okay Whoever this karmic is, she been paying this this um, tarot reader readings to be able to get on you to realize that the relationship is hopeless, okay? Mm-hmm. Whoever this tarot reader been charging the fuck up by her as knowing that the shit is hopeless, okay? Or she a tarot reader that know it's hopeless, okay? Yeah, this karmic cycle is closing, Okay, yeah. This masculine wish that he didn't take you for granted, okay? Your masculine is still guarded from past issues. Your masculine know without a shadow of a doubt he don't want to be a player no more. Painful memories from the past that he ain't never healed and he wished that he didn't take you for granted. He wished that he didn't take you for granted. Wished that he would have gave you more love. This masculine was giving love out to third parties, people that didn't give a fuck about him, and was dogging you the fuck out, okay? And then let time run out on his ass so you don't even fucking care no more. You don't even care no more that this masculine finally want to sit up here and wake up and not want to be a player no more. He done done too much. You unfazed, okay, and you moving forward, okay? This masculine was working against against you with a group, a squad, okay? A lot of shit was going on behind the scenes that he had made a neutral agreement. Your masculine could have even tried to sacrifice you to this group, okay? Taking your energy, giving it back to these group, these people. Yeah. It could be like, oh, how many people just say on this card? It could be like 13 people within this group. It's like 13 people is in this group that this masculine was sitting up here working against. And they all mad because none of the fucking spell work is sitting up here sticking to you. Okay? Yeah. What else? Yeah, this masculine gave his power away. Something happened to this masculine as a child that changed him. Whatever happened to him as a child changed him. Something that he need to work on. It's something in the past that changed everything. Something that keeps him guarded. Something that he need to work on. There's something that happened to him. And all we could do, even if you don't want to be with your masculine no more, at least sit up here and send a prayer that he works on the different things that he has trauma from as a child that he finally did heal. Just at least send a prayer up for that because everybody deserves to be healed. Everybody deserves to have that tender love and care. And all of us have went through different things as children, okay? Some is okay about speaking about it and some people, some of us is not, okay? But it's a lot of different things that children, you know, as a child that we have been through, that we have seen. And um, a lot of us have got help for it. And it looked like your masculine, once he worked through these issues that he has went through as a child he'll be okay he'll be okay he will be okay with just a little tender love but until he get that fixed he's gonna keep on you know being emotionally unavailable because he ain't working through those past um issues as he went through as a child something could have happened to him between three and six years old okay something could have happened to him at school he got a backpack on Something could have happened, okay? That somebody took his power. He could have been molested. Yeah, God said, I'm speaking the truth. 
Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. It could be a karmic male that you was dealing with that this happened to. Whoever this karmic male is, he is obsessed with you. He's still in love with you, okay? And it's a no for you. You no longer want to be with this karmic male that is obsessed with you. You don't want to be with him. You thought that he was your masculine, but you know that he's not your masculine, okay? And whoever his ass is, he refuses to let go. He refuses to let go. See, Divine Feminine, you fell in love with potential, okay? And this is why you're walking away from the situation. This could be a Libra, okay, that you was falling in love with potential, okay? But it looked like it's going to be an ending towards that, okay? Yes, okay? You don't want to deal with nobody on low vibration? No. Mm-mm. You don't want to deal with nobody that makes you feel empty inside, okay? Yeah, your masculine, whoever this karmic masculine is, he says, I'm your worst nightmare, karmic masculine. Yeah, it's a karmic male, okay? They've been the worst nightmare towards you. You done went through a lot of pain, learned a lot of lessons with this karmic male that you do not want to sit up here and repeat. And you realize this, that now. You realize that you was in love with potential and you was in love with this person when you was at your lowest, okay? When you didn't love yourself properly, okay? When you was empty inside, okay? You tolerated this type of abuse from this karmic male, okay? But you have been praying for God to send up here and send you a divine love. And God is going to set up here and send you a divine love, okay? That you're going to be able, you know, to um, be a power couple with, okay? And then most likely it's going to be your real divine masculine that's going to come through, okay? This is why this karmic male refuses to give up. Wants you to think that he is your twin flame, okay? But you know better. You was tolerating this abuse when your self-esteem was low when you was empty inside okay you felt as though that shit was love but that shit wasn't love that shit was abuse and now that you awaken you see that okay as you think about this karmic male that has been nothing but your worst nightmare realizing that he was a true narcissist and this is why you sitting up here walking away you fell in love okay with potential okay and you realize that it's gonna be a no for you you realize that you deserve okay um a, a true love a divine masculine someone divine that god wants you to be with and what you have been praying for is coming towards you it could even be an aries okay but you standing in your power okay and you see in and hearing a lot of things on tarot as well, okay? Yeah. Look like you need to put an ending, okay, to a Libra. Some type of Libra that's coming into your life, is in your life, and you need to leave them alone, okay? You think that this person is somebody that you're supposed to be with, but you like this masculine because his ass, you like the potential that he is, okay? This ain't the full package. This is potential. God said, cut it short, okay, and let it go and put an end into it and keep it moving, okay? Keep it moving. God said, let that be a no for you when you got the signs, okay, that this is not your divine masculine, okay? Mm -hmm. It says, lack of emotional intelligence. You're not lost. You're here. Okay, God said, don't be no fool. God say he letting you know, okay, whoever you feeling has got potential, that ain't the person for you. God say put an end into that bullshit, okay? Mm-hmm. God says trust the universe. It's somebody that you think that you might be able to fuck with. It's somebody that you feel as though that got potential to be able to replace your masculine or to be your masculine, okay? But God said that's a damn lie. God says, trust the universe and trust what he said. God said, whoever you think that you should take a chance with, okay, that you, you know, really unsure about, God said, put an end to it. Put an end to it, okay? 
God say, you ain't no fool, okay? And you're definitely not hard up for love. You know what love is. You know when you're ready. And this person that you think you should take a chance with, you shouldn't. Okay, this man, this man gonna be heartless towards you. Okay, God said if you deal with whoever this man that you feel is dope potential, he gonna break your heart. He gonna break your heart, and God wants you to sit up here and trust what He is sitting up here telling you. Whoever this person is, he gonna end up breaking your heart. God said it has to be a no. And you need to trust him that he leading you to the right person. There's somebody you got in mind, but fuck that. God said, let it be. Let it be. Whoever that person is, just want to fuck you. See you as a sexual partner. This person can be a Gemini. You could be a Gemini, okay? But whoever he is, he two-faced it, okay? And want to sit up here and get between your legs. God say you got to be able to learn how to sit up and say it'll be a no go okay trying to tell you god said put an end to this bullshit asap who you think is potential ain't okay don't fuck around and get your heart hurt okay with somebody that's just looking for a nut okay see divine feminine you know different now you know different now and you know what you deserve you're no longer going no people pleaser. You're no longer going for the okie doke because you know better. Be aware of a Capricorn that is obsessed with you, that can't get over you. It's a Capricorn that is stuck upon you like glue, okay? Yes. That hurt you, okay? That has you in your feelings, okay? See, Divine Feminine, that's why God say move on and focus on yourself, okay? Focus on yourself. Because this person that you see potential in could be fucking married, okay? It's a Taurus that could be fucking married. God said to sit up here and move the fuck on, okay? God said don't waste your time when you the prize, okay? You deserve more. You ain't trying to take no meat off of nobody else's plate. What you do to others will come back on you, okay? Especially when you know that this person is married. This person is married, okay? Let that person be, wish him well, okay? And it has to be like that because you deserve better. You know better, you do better, okay? Yes, Divine Family, you're in a different energy, okay, within, okay? Yes. You don't need no sugar daddy, okay? You don't need nobody to sit up here and take care of you that's a married man to make you feel as though you're important, divine feminine, okay? It says you don't need no validation from no sugar daddy and willing to go along for the okie doke to get help, okay? It looked like whoever this married man is, it looked like he's wealthy enough to be able to help you and... um. And you don't need that type of validation from no married man. You got to trust and know that God going to bring you the right man in that's going to invest in you, be there for you. And all money ain't good money, okay? Whoever this married man is, he might try to convince you to be in a third-party situation, you know, to help you with finances, car notes, or whatever, okay? But just remember that man is married, and God say you got to think different, okay? You got to think different and know that God is your source, okay? Can't be sitting up here connecting yourself to to um, unavailable men, okay? Family members, anybody, anybody that's unavailable that can't put their full potential in you to make you a priority, you can't deal with, okay? Yes, because if when you choose unavailable people, you're gonna sit up here and be, um, and feel worthless afterwards. And do, you don't, you're not about that, okay? And this karmic, okay? She's doing fucking spell work and shit against you, okay? It's to sabotage anybody coming into your life, okay? Whoever this um this um karmic masculine is, he doing magic to keep people away from you, okay? Or this karmic is doing it to your masculine the Sagittarius is a Sagittarius that is out here trying to sabotage relationships, okay, due to magic, okay?
It's the Sagittarius is that doing that that's making an environment unhealthy. It's the Scorpio that is doing magic along with a, a um, Sagittarius. They both is doing magic to make it unsafe. Okay, this is somebody that this masculine got kids with that is extra possessive over this man okay who are we talking about we're talking about the karmic that is obsessed with winning okay and this bitch is doing anything to keep this masculine in the same household with her okay and it looked like it's a sagittarius it looked like it's a sagittarius that's doing magic okay that's doing magic but the magic ain't working Yep, it's a Leo doing it as well. It's a Leo doing this, okay? Mm-hmm, as well. Yep, but God say trust him, trust spirit, trust God, okay? These people think that they sitting up here getting away with shit that don't nobody see. They a damn lie, okay? It's a lot of conflict and drama and magic coming back towards these people due to the injustice and bullshit that they sent to you. It look like it's going back, okay? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, it looked like whoever this karmic is, she tries to use you as an escape goat to feel better about the shit that her ass be doing when this bitch got a lot of emotional baggage, okay? Yeah. This karmic can sit up here and wear glasses. Your masculine can wear glasses, but... She is feeling unbalanced right now, okay? She really is. She feeling unbalanced right now. It is also an Aquarius that is feeling unbalanced as well, okay? Yes. An Aquarius and a Cancer is feeling unbalanced right now, okay? Feeling extra anxious. A lot of anxiety is going on with these people, okay? Yes, this karmic is walking around trying to look sophisticated wearing her glasses when this is the grimiest bitch that you will ever meet okay yes okay mm -hmm. she's doing a lot of bondage magic on this masculine to keep him fucking anxious with anxiety okay yeah and this bitch do this shit because she got a lot of deep rooted you know um issues that she need to work on okay yeah she feeling you know feeling she, she's feeling a lot of different emotions right now, okay? And she likes sitting up here hanging on to dysfunctional situations, okay? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. You could be a Pisces. Guys say keep on trusting in him. Don't, 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 don't give up. Keep on trusting in him. Guys say keep on trusting in him. Okay, what time is it? I better stop right there. Okay, let me set up and get like two more cards. Yeah, God say just dust off the drama and keep it moving. God say don't worry about shit. All you got to do is keep the faith. Walk by faith, not by sight. Okay, and you got it. Okay, mm-hmm. This masculine is still into you, okay? Why the karmic study trying to force their relationship? The more she try to force it, the more this masculine is into you, okay? It's just the truth, okay? Yeah, this masculine is crying over you, missing you, and still holding on to you. We're going to leave it right there. Yeah, he missing you, wishing that he would have chose different, wishing that he could have you back around him and don't know what to do about it. He don't. This masculine said he is hooked on you. He's reflecting about the different things that he did. And he's watching you, okay, hooked, okay, realizing that you is the jackpot, Want to sit up here and come back and kiss your ass and bring you an offer, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep, I guess we'll leave it right there, okay? But what I can tell you is that his ass is ignoring this karmic. He is ignoring this karmic. Yo, masculine. Yes, he is. Tripping over, tripping on you. Missing you. Ignoring her, missing you. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Want a clean slate. Okay. Yep. 
And he want the world to know how much he loves you. He want a clean slate. He want everybody to know that he loves you, wants you back. And he want to sit up here and chase you, okay? Whew. Okay, that's what the 411 is, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all check out both videos, okay? I will see you guys later on. Let me get a little bit of rest, okay, before I start my day. I just didn't want to, you know, forget about you guys, okay? And I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I adore you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And um, for us to be able to exchange energy, make sure you push that like button and subscribe, okay? I love you guys, okay? And I will be back on here later, okay? So pray for me like I continue to pray for you, okay? And if you need special prayer, if you're going through something, you are not alone. Just always know that God got you and prayer changes things. Blessings go up. Okay, when prayers go up, blessings come down, okay? And don't ever feel ashamed to ask for help, okay? And for somebody to pray for you because prayer changes things, okay? Always know how mighty God really is, okay? And all you got to do is take the time to go to Him, okay? And if you need that extra additional, you know, help with praying, know that I got you back, okay? All right? So, you know... um, if you um and if you need a reading or anything i'm very affordable as well you need a protection bubble feel free to reach out it's a lot of different services that i provide okay but if you have no money whatsoever never be afraid to ask for prayer okay so i'm gonna leave it right there y'all but i will be back on here later okay all right talk to y'all in a minute bye